Hey guys, it's Tipper or Adam, and today I'll be going over 15 types of zombie players you are most likely to run into when playing BO4 Zombies. So I want to apologize for my last sound quiz because it was way too easy. Pretty much everybody guessed the IX or Voyage Pap sound, and that's exactly what it was. I promise you though, today's sound quiz is going to be harder. So along with guessing what that sound is, also comment right now, what kind of zombie player are you? Is it one of the 15 I'm gonna mention or is it one that I did not mention? Please let me know along with what you think the sound is. And besides that, let's go ahead and jump into the number 15 spot. Starting off our list here in the number 15 spot, we have the classic good old tryhard here in zombies. This is that guy that just has everything nailed down. He's a higher rank. He has a ton of elixirs. He has a ton of talismans and he just knows exactly what he's doing and in game he wants to do it all coming in at the number 14 spot we have the co-op player and this is the kind of player that tries to do everything in co-op i know players who just want to do absolutely everything in co-op and in pub matches which is absolutely insane like people actually try to do easter eggs all the time in the public matches and in my eyes that's just a recipe for disaster doing Easter eggs with randoms usually never goes well on top of that there are people who are actually frustrated they can't do these Easter eggs when they're playing co-op like you might as well just jump into a game of solo where it's just you and it makes things a lot easier coming in at the 13th spot we have these selfish players and I hate playing with these kind of players and zombies because they do absolutely nothing. They don't open doors. They don't get shield parts. They don't open up Pack-a-Punch. They just sit there, get kills, get points, get perks. They do everything that benefits them, but they won't do anything for the team. Coming in at the 12th spot, we have the AFKers. And all AFKers kind of have the same process. You start a match, there's always like one guy who's AFK. He comes back like, you know, seven, ten rounds into that game, and then he just leaves. I don't understand these people. Coming in at at the number 11 spot, we have what I like to call the hero. And this is the guy that is the opposite of the selfish player. And this guy just wants to open up all the doors, even though he has the least amount of points. He will do everything he can to help the team. Even if it ends up hurting him, he'll revive you and then down. This guy is just the player you want to have in your game. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the players who never ready up in a pre-game lobby and this is very frustrating because playing with randoms is already tough enough you're lagging you have tons of bad players but when you can't even get in the game because those players won't ready up it's so frustrating now obviously there's always players who are just afk but then you have those players who literally just join your pre-game lobby like you have you know three players and you're waiting for a fourth someone joins and then they just sit there and they don't ready up they don't do anything and of course you need at least uh two people or three people ready in a game of four i believe so when you need that one other person to ready up and they don't man it's just annoying having to leave and try to find a lobby where people actually want to get in the game coming in at the number nine spot we have those players who leave when they're spectating and this is annoying so what I mean by this is if you end up downing and you bleed out of course you have to spectate and a lot of people don't want to do that they'll actually just leave right after they bleed out because they don't want to sit there and watch you play for like two minutes until they spawn back in so please if you're somebody who bleeds out and dies completely just take it for the team spectate and don't leave the match because for some reason here in BO4 Zombies there is no host migration so if you are host that means everyone gets kicked out. Coming in at the number 8 spot when you're playing a game in a public match and there's always that one guy who wants to do the easter egg or someone who has always failed doing the easter egg and like hey do you guys want to attempt the easter egg and usually doing that in a public match where you know one or two people 
have mics usually isn't a good idea. And I'm always that one guy who tries to do it and honestly, it just never goes well. Coming in at the number seven spot, we have the one player who just downs a ton during the game. And I don't want to call this kind of player a noob because a noob usually doesn't know what's going on. They don't know what guns are good or where things are. These kinds of players who just down a ton are usually those players who say they're good. They know enough about the game, but they're just really not that great. And they are always downing and you're there trying to revive them as much as possible. And these are the kinds of players that if they bleed out once, they'll usually leave the game. Coming in at the number six spot, we have the kind of player who always asks a ton of questions. And you know what? I don't mind these kinds of players because obviously they are interested in the game. They are trying to learn. They are curious about a lot of things. And I'm always happy to answer, you know, as many questions as I can when I'm playing with randoms. But there are some players who literally like every two seconds have a question about something. And some of these questions questions are just like so weird and so super specific that I don't even know the answer to a lot of these questions, but still, you know, asking questions is good, but don't ask too many in game. Coming in at the number five spot, we have the know-it-alls. And recently I joined a public match on IX and while in the pregame lobby, these guys were actually calling me hackers for being level 176. After joining the game and hearing these two guys just call me out for being a hacker, I just couldn't take it. I had to plug my mic in and inform them that there actually is a prestige master in zombies. And this guy was kind of, uh, I guess, arguing with me, saying that the max rank was 55. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? You can prestige, you know? Clearly I'm level 176, there is Master Prestige, and then throughout the entire game, he was kind of calling me out for doing things wrong, like doing the pap wrong and doing certain easter egg steps wrong. Like the guy was completely misinformed, but he was acting like he knew everything about zombies. Coming in at the number four spot, I like to call the kind of player the trooper because this is the guy that will just battle tons of adversity during that zombies game where he takes tons of downs, he bleeds out a ton of times, but he won't leave the match. He'll constantly try to, you know, bounce back, get his perks back, get his weapons going, pap his guns. And there are times where he'll just down so many times, he'll bleed out and because you can't revive him, but he won't leave the match. And this has to be my favorite kind of player to play with in a pub game because I get tons of revives and he doesn't leave. Coming in at the number three spot, we have the solo player. So if you're somebody that loves playing solo and you play a lot of solo, when you go into a public match, it's a lot different. And personally, I find myself playing kind of solo inside a public match. I like to stay away from people. I kind of do my own thing. I try to do everything by myself and I don't really use my teammates all that much, which really isn't a good thing. Now, I will try to revive other people when they go down. I am a team player in that way, but besides that, I really like to play co-op like I'm playing solo, and you do have those players who will just ignore everything that's going on in the game, and they'll kind of be in their own world in a four-player match. Coming in at the number two spot, the type of player that gets mad at you when you don't revive them, and in some ways, in some cases, I understand understand why you would get mad if you don't get revived, especially like in a higher round in co-op. It can take a long time to get to that round until you're back in the game or you might have some good guns or you want your perks back, whatever. But then there are some cases where, where I have like, you know, 20 revives or 25 revives and then the guy gets mad at me for not reviving him. Clearly I'm over here trying to revive as many players as I can and, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. These kind of players are usually the people who, first of all, down a ton, and as soon as they bleed out, usually like on any round, they will just leave the game immediately, and these are the kind of players that I don't like playing with in BO4 Zombies. Coming in at the number one spot on today's list, the one kind of zombie player that is always going to be in COD Zombies is 
the good old box spammers. And here in BO4, it's kind of strange because there are so many of the box guns on the wall. There are a ton of amazing wall guns and even great starting guns. So hitting the box is something that you don't need to do at all in the early rounds in BO4 compared to like, you know, other Treyarch modes, yet people still do it. It's the level of dedication which is insane. These players will make it their life mission to hit the box as many times as they can in the early rounds. They have to have all the best weapons. They have to have those wonder weapons on round five or round 10. They will take down after down. They'll bleed out, come back and keep spamming that box for a gun that you don't really need to have in those early rounds. And again, since you have all those amazing wall weapons, there is no reason to do this at all. So there you have it, guys. Those are 15 types of players you'll run into here in BO4 Zombies. Let me know right now in the comments below what kind of player are you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.